Ladies and gentlemen, I am here with the captain of Horizon and the builder of Shook. And let's have a big builder blog welcome for Josh. Hey, Josh. Hi, Zach. <laughs> so I don't know if you saw last week's episode, but I have a very important question for you. I have two very important questions for you. I like important questions, so. So number one is, um, could I please copy Shook's drivetrain into Scorpios and make a giant, awesome Scorpios? Or I think that would be awesome, and I would allow you to, but I do have to point out that Shook is also a, a derivative of certain other robots that exist. So, in particular, I should give recognition to ETF, Slipstream, and Dark Pounder. If you had a Venn diagram of all three robots, you'd have Shook in the middle. So, <laughs> you know, Shook is sort of my design commentary on that. I'd love to see it at the 250 pound scale, but I'd like to remind everyone that um, it's still it's still an inspired design. Well, I really truly appreciate you giving credit where credit is due here, and uh, I, I hope everybody heard that here on the blog. Us builders do tend to borrow from each other quite a bit. And uh, I actually have another question for you. I was extremely impressed with your driving at Robo Games. I don't know if everybody knows this, but this man is the current Antweight Robo Game champion. And uh, you drove, literally drove circles around most of the competitors. <laughs> so. Sometimes. Uh, most I think of the it'll time. It'll take another year for me to become really familiar with the sticks. <laughs> you can see some like kind of amateurish flailing on the videos honestly well when you have a big vertical like that that gets upside down sometimes it, it's always gonna flail <laughs> but yeah. i uh i actually wanted to know do you want to drive scorpios i mean as you know i have certain other uh big projects in mind but currently horizons entry into season eight isn't guaranteed so if that doesn't happen, I would be very glad to try Scorpius. I think that would be very fun. Woot! I, I have to admit, it's been getting harder and harder for me to drive. I actually have a heart condition, and I can feel my heart racing because it's so much adrenaline. I'm sure you've felt the same thing up there with Horizon, of your heart just races, you go into tunnel vision, and all you see is the robots. Yeah, I mean, that's one of the reasons I'm not driving is because I think our driver, Kyle, deals with that a little better. But uh, he admits he gets anxious, too, so it's not easy for anybody. Uh, do you have any advice for us as we try to build a, a large-scale version of this thing? Uh, I mean, I've been seeing the comments and what people have been saying about the four-wheel drive design. I would like to point out one thing. The front wheels have to be powered because... If you think about the robot as like you know a first class lever think back to physics class the front wheel is the fulcrum when your opponent rests on the wedge that is the load and the effort would i guess be the rest of the weight on the robot on the back wheels so we don't power the front wheels but they're there then putting the opponent on the wedge will actually decrease the amount of traction your drive train has to move the robot because the wheels that are not powered are taking most of the weight and the wheels that actually have power are getting less traction. I mean, Horizon ran brushless motors last year and that was our first go at that. We think it went okay. And I know you guys like your mags. I certainly think they're a valid option, but I think a brushless Scorpius would be a lot of fun to drive. <laughs> that, that does sound like a good thing. And Castle has been giving us a lot of good brushless motors, but uh, call me set in my ways. <laughs> I mean, that's fine. Um, I think yeah, sometimes but you gotta be I do really appreciate both of those points of input and uh, actually I do have some giant giant outrunner scorpion motors sitting on my workbench and I, I have to admit I was like we could just plop that right on the Waiachi gearbox I have no idea what I'd use to control it <laughs> but that would uh, be a closer representation of your original design yeah, um, but of course at heavyweights, I guess you have to manage the risk that you take with design. 
So I think you do gain motor power this year with the two small mags. Is that correct? Yes, because the current Scorpios, and this is something else I wanted to mention to everyone in the comments. They're like, you're gaining weight by adding an extra motor and gearbox. I'm like, there's already four drive motors in the robot. <laughs> If you look at my actual inside Scorpios, there's literally two mags that lead to one gearbox. And uh, all I'm technically changing is I'm taking one short mag and it's becoming a long one. And so that will up the amperage and power a little bit and the weight a little bit, but I did already have four motors. You're kind of just rearranging the insides. <laughs> this is true. Well, I really appreciate both those points. I had not considered that about the front wheels and the fulcrum point, and that is such a good point, and that's something only the builder would know. So I really appreciate you sharing that with me. I am going to absolutely implement that. And I am going to take a second look to see if I can find an appropriate brushless motor. But I still, we might have to do a brushless version and a brushed version and put them head to head and see how they work would be cool is like doing kind of like what Roth does and doing half and half oh <laughs> that's, that's like even more experimental right so. <laughs> that is uh, what did he call that brushed more or less <laughs> that's what I would call it yeah because he had a, a mag motor for the lower speeds but once he got past a certain thing somehow his crazy gearbox let the brushless motor kick in and it, he was almost setting it up like the brushed motor was the starter motor, but then the brushless motor was the real power. God, that thing was incredible. <laughs> well, I got you here. Do you want to tell the blog what you're working on with Horizon? Can't say too much, but I have a one power called Mad Dragon. There's a couple of videos of it up on YouTube. You know, maybe we're gonna scale that up by 250 pounds, just maybe. We've also got some structural changes. We might, we're debating about aluminum too. So, you know, I think generally the robot will be a lot better with the experience we had. Well, that's awesome. That is absolutely awesome. And, and what's your YouTube channel called? Um, Just search up. I don't have a YouTube channel, oh. but I guess at Joshua Kong 7175. Also, my friend Derek from Gigabyte, his channel is High Energy Failures, and he uploads some of my fights and is a cameraman for a lot of my fights. Well, awesome. Well, thank you very much for taking the time. Thank you for helping me with this design. I really appreciate it. I need all the help I can get. And yeah. um, please keep me posted. I want to know. I'm sure everybody wants to know. <laughs> we'll let you know. Thanks for having me on your uh, prestigious blog. <laughs> Thank you very much, and I'll see you next time. Bye. All right, Builder Blog, that's our video for the week. We will catch you next week with the next update on Scorpios. Rawr. 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 Bye. Why I'm catting. Go away. I want to eat a cat. Catting. Catting? Drawing stuff. Now? Right Meowzers. Now.